now we have our diff fully removed. We even took our leaf springs out. These bushings are completely shot. Look at these things. So I guess it's good that we took them out and we'll get to replace them, make sure that it's working all right. Now, along with doing this, it's gonna be lifting the golf cart. So we may go to a uh, leaf spring under option, depending on how much this actually lifts the cart up. Now we've gone ahead and cut out the back. So you can kind of see the opening there. We're gonna scoot that diff forward out of the way so we don't have to trip over it. And essentially what we're doing, this arm here, we're gonna be cutting out down at the bottom and dropping it five inches and then going straight back with it and then coming back and meeting right here with, the, with another frame rail, um, those over there. So we're gonna be using the same stuff they use to kind of reinforce the frame. We're gonna be doing a cross member as well. That'll help support the setup. So we're gonna get to cutting and see if we can get this all together. member built for frame mount. So let's take a quick spy at it. Now the stock frame rail, which is this piece here, is going to be cut out. And as you can see below it, five inches lower, is the new frame rail. Now that frame rail will accept the, the motor and uh, it'll also have a cross member going to the other side. And then the differential is going to be scooted back and kind of readjust it a little. So we're gonna to have to squeeze it all in here. We'll have to lift it. Obviously we, we lowered the cart five inches, so we're gonna to have to lift it. Um, hopefully not five inches, but we will lift it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna make it a little lower to the ground, but it will have all-terrain tires. So all that squeezed in. We may make the same piece for the other side also. So we have a duplicate piece and then kind of go from there. So far, so good, though. <laughs> 